Impressive, right? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, dear Cyberscar, how's it going? It's your boy, Eroctic, and today I'm gonna show you probably the best build in the Cyberpunk 2077. With this build, your clear speed is gonna be absurdly quick. You're gonna clear any point of interest in between 20 seconds and 40 seconds. It is that quick. It's stupid good. With this build, you're gonna have no problems with the ammunition, because we are gonna use SMG and the assault rifle ammunition. This build is stupid safe because your enemies won't even see you, which means they are not gonna even damage you. And even if they do, this build and this weapon is viable in close quarters all the way to the long range shots. And no matter where your enemy is, if you see him through the wall, that enemy will get one tapped no matter if you shoot him in the chest or in the head. I'm gonna teach you everything about this build and without of any further ado, let's just jump right into it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proudly presenting you my Widowmaker build. One thing that is really worth of mentioning. Before we start, the concept of this whole build is using ping under the cyberware. I'm still having the green one because I cannot find blue one or the epic one. If you find blue one or the purple one, it is gonna increase the duration of the ping enemies, which means that quick hack is gonna highlight all of the enemies in the area so you can shoot them through the wall because we are using tech weapons tech weapons can shoot through the wall while fully charged. And that is the whole point of the build. And with that said, I just wanna let you know that Widowmaker is iconic weapon and you can get this weapon with doing quests in the desert. There is a chick called Panem and upon finishing the mission called Ghost Town, there is gonna be a boss on the end of the cave that will drop the Widowmaker. With that said, why is Widowmaker so special? Well, the most important reason is that this tech precision rifle is firing multiple shots, not just one. In the description down below, it says that it is firing two projectiles per shot and it is dealing chemical damage with increased chance to apply poison. That is not true. This weapon is actually firing six projectiles not two and if we go right here when you are holding the weapon it is gonna look like this and when you're hip firing it is gonna look like this as you can see there is a six projectiles which means when you're adsing the spread is gonna be pretty much minimal and when you are firing without of the ads you can feel the spread which means that you can use this gun at any range you can spam the shots like a shotgun in cqc and you can use it for the long range precision shots now the best part of this build is that tech weapons are penetrating through the walls without of any kind of a penalty which means when the tech rifle is fully charged and if you see the enemy through the wall that enemy will die. Don't worry about the hip fire spam way too much. You're gonna use that only when you get jumped on by a really quick shotgun guys. In 99% of the cases, you're gonna ping your enemies so you can see them through the wall and you're just gonna go in the ADS, charge your rifle and destroy everything that you see through the wall. And here is where the cheese begins. In this game, the AI is not the brightest one, which means if they don't see you or if you're not close enough, they're gonna kinda completely ignore you. You're gonna pretty much be in between stealthy and in between aggro, like enemies will be alerted, but they are not gonna rush you down. They will only rush you down when you are really close to them. But if you're standing in the range, the enemies are just gonna stand still and it is gonna be really easy for you to click those headshots. 
But the thing is that there is so much damage in this weapon that you don't even need to click the heads. You can just shoot them fully charged in the body and they will die. And the best part of this build is that you can use it as a fully functional build on level 28. On level 28 you're gonna gain all of the important perks that you need to successfully destroy everything in front of you. And even during your leveling phase, even when you do not have Widowmaker, while leveling your character from level 1 onwards, with finding any tech weapon and with pinging your enemies, you can pretty much start to play this build as soon as you find your first tech weapon. Which means, as soon as you find Widowmaker, you are pretty much good to go. You don't need anything else. But I will show you all of the important things that you need to know to fully min-max my Widowmaker build. The first and the most important attribute that you need to level up on level 20 is technical ability. For two reasons. Crafting and engineering. I'm gonna completely ignore crafting in this video. If you wanna learn more why crafting is really important for any build, you should check my previous video. With that said, let's just jump right into the engineering. Engineering is the most important skill tree for the tech weapons because it is gonna give you the biggest amount of the damage for any type of a tech weapon. Which means, like I already said, while you're gonna level up this build from level 1, from the scratch, with leveling up engineering first, no matter if you're playing with a tech pistol, tech shotgun, tech sniper, tech precision rifle, tech SMG, whatever tech weapon you take, it will work. It will be easy for you to level up because engineering cluster is, like I said, for all of the tech weapons, not just Widowmaker or snipers or whatever. And with that said, I made a list of the things that you will get with leveling up engineering on level 21st. You will spend 12 perk points on the engineering and these are the perks that you will need to get. Gun Whisperer, so your weapon does not shoot automatically when fully charged, which means it is gonna be much easier for you to lead the shots. Up to 11 will allow you to charge tech weapons up to the 100% up to the capacity. Without of this perk, you can charge the tech weapons on 50% of a capacity, which means it is gonna automatically give you double damage of the tech weapons. You're gonna also take Tesla to increase the charge multiplier for tech weapons by 55%. What that means is that Widowmaker, my Widowmaker, has 3.21 charge multiplier, which means I'm gonna deal even more damage 3.2 times more damage and what this will do is it is gonna increase that even more by 55 percent when the widowmaker is fully charged you're gonna deal 50 percent more damage which is no brainer do i even have to explain this shit Lickety split is gonna reduce the charge time by 20 percent which means much much quicker dps you're gonna take play the angles where your ricochets are gonna deal 50% extra damage. You cannot see the ricochets without of the cyberware, but just take it. It is gonna increase your damage without of you even knowing and it costs only one point. You're gonna take the walls. This is gonna give you the utility and flexibility of using Widowmaker properly. To penetrate the walls, weapon needs to be fully charged and if your weapon is charged only on 90 percent or 95 percent it won't penetrate the wall but our goal is to make the weapon to penetrate the walls so with taking all walls with having a weapon charged on 70 percent plus you will penetrate the walls regardless and on top of that it will give you the flexibility. Sometimes, in most of the cases, you're having way too much damage anyways, and you don't need to have fully charged weapon to kill the enemies. Which means you're gonna most likely spam through the walls on 70%, not even on full charge. But when you need damage, you can full charge it and you can headshot really, really easy. It is way too flexible. And you're gonna need a little bit of a muscle memory and practice to fine tune your playstyle with this build. And the most important part of engineering and why it is so important to take engineering on level 21st is because of a superconductor. Superconductor is gonna make your weapon to ignore armor on your enemies. The, I cannot stress out how important this is and how powerful this perk is. When you're killing 
low level mobs, trash mobs, random punks on the streets and stuff like that, they do not have that much of the armor. But the enemies that have insane amount of the armor are bosses and tanky motherfuckers. And I'm gonna give you the example, trash mob is gonna have, I don't know, 100 armor, 200 armor, and the boss is gonna have 20,000 armor. The scaling in between trash mob and the bosses is absurdly high. And making the boss not having the armor is gonna make that boss like it is nothing. It is just way too powerful. And with taking these perks right here, the list will look like this. You're gonna ignore armor while using tech weapons. You're gonna deal double damage on full charge. You're gonna deal 55% more damage multiplier. You're gonna have extra 50% damage on the full charge. And you're gonna have 20% faster charge. And on top of that, ricochets are gonna deal 50% higher damage and you're gonna get the utility that you can shoot through the wall on 70 percent plus charged weapons not on fully charged with having this on level 20 your build is gonna be stupid powerful already which means with just taking those you will pretty much one shot anything that works i do not know if you're gonna find widowmaker before leveling up this but it is gonna be pretty much close call after leveling up engineering on level 20 you should start leveling up cool on level 12 and the things that you're gonna take on cool are actually a couple of perks but those perks are so absurdly powerful that it is just beautiful with the assassin you're gonna deal 15 percent more damage against humans aka against 99 percent of the enemies that you will fight sniper perk is gonna give you 50 percent increased headshot damage to the enemies outside of the combat this perk is a boss killer perk because in most of the cases bosses are pretty much solo cyber cycles and all of those like bounty motherfuckers and stuff like that and even if they are not solo you can ping them and you can kind of figure out where the boss is and with this perk it is gonna one shot the bosses in no time from the shadows is gonna give you 50 percent critical hit chance for seven seconds and since this build is stupid quick and everyone will die in the first 10 15 seconds you're gonna have pretty much 100 percent critical hit chance during the whole combat and those three perks are gonna be the only perks that you will take in stealth in the cold blood the only perk that you will take is a frozen precision that is gonna increase the headshot damage by 50 percent you're gonna also take cold blood because it is gonna naturally proc that cold blood i already explained this in the previous video but you're gonna pretty much level up cold blood with just killing the enemies and you wanna level up cold blood to get it on level 20 or for the last perk or for whatever the hell it really doesn't matter but yeah just take this cold blood so you are naturally broking it and you're leveling up your cold blood progression and like i explained with the cold blood you're gonna get 50 percent critical hit chance for the first seven seconds you're gonna get 65 percent damage you're gonna get 50 percent additional damage on the first enemy kill aka boss killer perk and you're gonna passively level up cold blood after leveling up cool on 12 you're gonna dedicate your perks into the reflex level 11 and you're gonna invest in a couple of perks in the assault bullseye is gonna increase your damage by 10 percent while adsing executioner is gonna give you 25 percent more damage against enemies that are that are above 50 percent hp aka 25 percent extra damage because everything is one shot anyways which means you're gonna always have 25 percent you don't care about low level enemies catch the damage increase by 30 percent and you're gonna get absurd amount of the reload speed with shoot reload repeat you're gonna reload your gun 40 percent faster and since you are reloading after the kill you're gonna take this perk only and with all of those perks combined you're gonna get 65 percent damage and 40 percent faster reload and before we jump any further i just want to give the honorable mentions so we are on the same page because you're probably wondering why i didn't took bullet jock to increase my rifle damage by 10 percent the reason is really simple it is not worth it it is not efficient spending one perk point for only three percent damage increase is not worth it no matter how tempting it is to take this perk right off the get-go don't take it it is not worth it 
Like, you're gonna spend three points for 10%, and then you have here 10% for one perk point, 25% for one perk point, 15% for one perk point, 25% for one perk point. You know, it is just not worth it. I know it is really tempting, but those 10% is just gonna make a better clickbait on the YouTube video, nothing else. If you're a smart guy, you're gonna completely ignore this one. And the same thing goes for the technical ability. There is a perk here, a lightning bolt increases crit chance with attack weapons by 3%. Don't take it. The percentage is way too small and it is not worth to waste the points in such a low percent. And speaking about crit, when you look at my character stats, you will cap this 53% with your perks and with the modifications on the gear. With having 53% of a crit chance by default and with having from the shadows that is gonna give you extra 50% crit chance, you will have 100% critical hit chance when you start with the combat. Like I already said, this is the chronological order that you want to level up. It is going to give you the best statistics and the most efficient progression. And like I said, those stats and those perks are until you reach level 28. After reaching 28, there are a couple of different perks that you can take. You can reach Assault level 20 to get 35 crit damage plus 2 ricochet times and more damage on the range and 35% damage or you can level up stealth on level 18 to get times 2 poison damage. Let me repeat for those people in the back. Widowmaker will always roll chemical damage and it is gonna have high poison chance. Poison chance is not even that important because everyone is gonna die in the first shot but even if they survive poison will finish them off but it will always roll with the chemical damage. Chemical damage is poison. So with leveling up stealth on level 18, you can take the perk right here behind me called the neurotoxin that is gonna increase the damage of the poison by double, which means Widowmaker is gonna deal in between 70 and 86% chemical damage which means it is gonna deal more damage with the poison than the actual damage, which is stupid powerful. But you can choose one of those two. And if you ask me which one you should take, I would recommend you to level up for the next nine points. Those two perks, stealth on level 18 for double poison damage and then next three perk points for extra 35% critical hit damage. And if you want me to show you where those perks are and what the hell I'm talking about, under the stealth, neurotoxin is right here. You're gonna take this one and then you're gonna go on the assault. You're gonna get this critical hit damage right here. You're gonna take long shot right here. You're gonna take savage stoic for the passive 35% increased damage. And that is pretty much it. You can also level up cool on level 20. And because you are having a cold blood here anyways, you can take immunity for any kind of a do damage over time immunity, but whatever. And you can also take Merciless to increase your crit chance and crit damage even more once when you reach cold blood level 20. And that is pretty much it. There is one more thing that is really, really important to mention, and that is modifications on items. You have legendary items with a critical hit damage and critical hit chance. Critical hit damage will stack your damage, but critical hit chance won't. Let me repeat, critical hit chance mods are not stacking, which means I kinda screwed up my loadout with stacking critical hit chance anyway, everywhere. I don't need that. I need only one critical hit chance mod, not four that I have. Although you should stack critical hit damage mods because they do stack. For the mods on the Widowmaker, it really doesn't matter. Take a rate of fire, take headshot damage, take whatever the hell you can. About the cyberware, do whatever the hell you want. It is really not important. Take increased damage against enemies with a moderate and high threat and you're gonna be good to go. Tell me your thoughts about the build. If I missed something and if you have some kind of a questions about this build, please ask me in the comment section down below. I'm gonna answer on your question in my top 
pinned comment. If you wanna see more builds of me, there is shit ton of builds coming your way on my channel. So make sure to subscribe with the notifications on. I hope that you guys enjoyed in this one and see you in the next one. Eroctic out.